one of our MPs was asked would he support Owen Smith six months ago. Mm. So this has been a long time in planning. Right, this yeah. did not just happen. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, I'm disgusted. There's a huge collective sulk for months on the back benches. To go into a chamber and never cheer your leader on. I've cheered Blair on. Mm. Of course I have and Gordon Brown. We all did. It's, it's part of the pantomime down there. I know, but you just do it. People yeah. feel better if you do it. But they've sat there in total silence. I think it says a lot about Jeremy's stoicism and his dignity mm. that he's, he's ignored them and carried on with the question of trying to bring the government to account for some of the dreadful things they're doing. I, I don't know where they're coming from, these people. I really don't. They're not Labour Party as I know it. Mm. What is the Labour Party as you know it? Well, the Labour Party as I know it is you look after the people who are working and people who are struggling and, and people who are trying to make their lives better and the lives of the children better. You know, th th this, this bubble that they live in down in Westminster, it's all about uh, cliches and saying the right thing. And I mean, I've been criticised for having a, a voice like her that's come out of a West Riding tool. <laughs> I forgot now, machine tool uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. factory. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and I've also been criticised, uh, both myself and Maria Five, we tried to intervene in the first Iraq war mm. and uh, get called so we could say our piece. And Speaker Weatherall said uh, if the Honourable Lady spoke the Queen's English, um, then they might get called more often. Really? It, yes, it's really. That? It's Good. in Hansard, it's on record. <laughs> And the late Eric Effer got up and said, and if uh, you, Mr Speaker, went to either Glasgow or Halifax, nobody would understand a word you said. <laughs> so <laughs> he did apologise later on. But that was that was the kind of thing I went into. It has got better since then, mm. I think. Mm. But then we've got this, this group of Labour MPs that are determined at any cost to not have the elected leader of the Labour Party in place. Mm. And I just ask them, who do you think you are? Are you above everybody else? You know, are you more important than half a million members? Mm. And uh, and the behaviour, I think the behaviour has been disgraceful. Mm. Absolutely disgraceful. Genuine democracy, from my point of view, is always that you've, you've basically got to have, it's got to start at the grassroots and yeah. work its way up and, yeah. and, and take in and, and work yeah. out... Well, how do we want to do things? What's good for everybody? Yeah. Can, you know, and then work it through and get your policy from yeah, from there. Right. And I think that's one one thing they've been criticising Jeremy for uh, for mm. not having any policies. But what he's really doing is trying to actually get people but involved he, yeah. in. in yeah. Yeah. But we've got loads of policies, mm. and that education policy yesterday, and the question and answer I've given your brother, the Observer, mm. uh, yesterday. This. Everything there that we all believe in, mm. it's it's what we all believe in, but they don't. Mm. Peter Mandelson and Progress do not believe in that. They believe in privilege. I mean, Peter yeah. Mandelson was open about it. They thought it was all right for people to get filthy rich. Well, I don't think it's all right for Philip Green to save up for another yacht at my expense. Right. He's already got three, mm. you know, and, and where could that money be going? Where could that money be spent on? They don't believe in collectivisation. They do not believe in trade unions, not a lot of new labour. No. They really don't. Mm. It's uh, They pay lip service and they, they'll take the grants off, such as the GNN, but they, they don't believe in the principles of the mm. trade union. Mm. And you see, Blair spent had years to get those people in place. Yeah, mm. that's, yeah. Mm. yeah. So how can... How can the Labour Party kind of recapture its roots then, do you think? We can do what we're doing now. It's the best thing that's happened in years. Mm -hmm. Absolutely the best thing that's happened in years. Jeremy is, is decent. He's got a lovely sense of humour. This is what they don't like. This is what they can't take. He's honest and principled. He believes in what he's doing. And they can't find any dirt on them. That must be killing them. It must be killing them. There's nothing to find. It just does, it's got quite a lot of courage. Mm. And you can see that, the way mm. that he's putting up with And how, how he stood this is amazing. I mm. think it's a testament to his his character and who he is. Mm. Yeah. Do you think that kind of speaks for his leadership qualities as well? Oh, yes, he has leadership qualities. Of course he has. Mm. You know... I said the other day on the Daily Politics, they said this kind of thing about Clement Attlee. You know, I'm 79 next month. Mm. So I remember 
Mm. these things and I would grow up on these things. The Churchill said he was a modest little man with a lot to be That's modest right. about. Yes, yes, yes. And he turned out to be the greatest Labour leader we've had. Mm. And that's what's going to happen if Jeremy Corbyn gets in. Mm. Yes, Jeremy is modest. Mm. No, he doesn't. It's not flamboyant. He doesn't want to play act. Mm. He'd join Rada if he did. Mm. He's in politics mm. because he's serious mm. and he will make a great... He wants to make change. He'll make yeah. a great Prime yeah. Minister yeah. because he'll bring in the things that people need. Do you think, so do you think that if he does re remain as leader of the Labour Party that he will be elected as Prime Minister? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. But what do you think they're going to do if, you know, assuming or if or when I don't gets... know. I heard Margaret Beckett this morning and I feel so sad. I like Margaret. I feel so sad. She mm. was... I think there was a hint there that they might break up, they might walk right. away. And of course, some people have said they won't take the Labour whip. Well, then that's up to their party if they don't. If they want a Labour MP, they've got to have a Labour MP that stops sulking, that gets in and does a job of mm. work. Because mm. there's a lot of work to be done in a shadow cabinet. Mm. Um, stop behaving like prima donnas. Mm. What do they think they are? Well, at least I told the truth and I was honest. Mm. And I think that's one of the great pluses for Jeremy. Because mm. the other thing about Jeremy is very collective. He, he includes you in everything. You know, he, when we were at campaign, of course we had discussions and rows in campaign group, mm. of course we did, but I met him every week that Parliament was sitting for 18 years unless one of us was away. And uh, I became very close friends. I used to look after his children when he was going into meetings. We'd mm. take it in turns to look after, and he used to look after my grandchildren. Um, because they lived in London then. So I got to know him at a personal level as well, and I'm very, very fond of him. And I know he's tough, but he's resilient. And I think, and he will win, because he's right and they're wrong. Mm -hmm. He will win. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they think they can go and behave like that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's also a bit old-fashioned. I, I believe in good manners and be mm -hmm. decent behaviour. Mm -hmm. You know, if, well, if it were Tories, it might be a bit different, but... Uh, <laughs> respect them, but yeah, yes. you can disagree and have different... You still respect yeah, each like, other. You've got so to listen to people, yeah. they? they're not listening, this yeah. is the thing, they're yeah. not... It's like, it's kind of la 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 la... They yeah, just don't want is, to, they, yeah. they just don't want oh, to take it is, it on yeah, board at all. It's good, yeah. is that? I remember that one. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's good, that. <laughs>